In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the sacrifice of the Eucharist celebration. Today, the first Friday of the month, we give honor to the sec most sacred heart of Jesus, this heart who, out of love for us, suffered for our salvation. Let us ask him to help us to correspond to that love that he gives to us with our, with, with our, with our life and in our daily life. Brethren, before to enter into these sacred mysteries in a worthy manner, let us firstly recognize all our sins and ask God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greater sin in my thought and in my and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conform to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In a vision, I, Daniel, saw during the night the four winds of heaven stirred up the great sea, from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from the others. The first was like a lion, but with eagle's wings. While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground to stand on two feet like a man and given a human mind. The second was like a bear. It was raised up on one side and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks. It was given the order, up, devour much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast like a leopard. On its back were four wings <clears throat> like those of a bird, and it had four heads. To this beast dominion was given. After this, in the visions of the night, I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had great iron teeth with which it devoured and crushed, and what was left it trampled with its feet. I was considering the ten horns it had when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst, and three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like a man and a mouth that spoke arrogantly as I watched, thrones were set up and the Ancient One took his throne. 
His clothing was snow white, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. I watched then from the first of the arrogant words which the horn spoke until the beast was slain and its body thrown into the fire to be burnt up. The other beasts, which also lost their dominion, were granted a prolongation of life for a time and a season. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingdom shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Eternal praise. Everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory and eternal praise. You springs bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. You dolphins and all water creatures bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. All you birds of the air bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. <clears throat> alleluia, 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 alleluia. Stand erect and raise your hands because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their boss burns open, you see, your, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Amid of a certain is of everyday life, moments of doubts and misunderstandings, when it seems that everything is collapsing around us, man 
going through this valley of tears need something solid to lead on. Need a safe place to take a refuge. And that solid thing, that safe place that we need in that moment of that misunderstanding, uncertainties, is the most sacred heart of the Lord. Heaven and earth will pass, but my word will not pass. Remember that word that he said to us, come to me, you who are labored and burdened, and I, give, and I will give you rest. Take my joke upon you and learn from me that I am humble and meek of heart. These are the words of the Lord. And this world will not pass away. Come to me. Learn from me that I am meek and humble of heart. The heart of Jesus, brothers and sisters, beats to love to you every day. And the image of the sacred heart reminds us of the central core of our faith. And what is that central core of our faith? How much God loves us and how much we therefore love him. We must love him. Jesus has a heart that loves without measure. He loves us so much that he suffers when his immense love is not reciprocated from us. So brothers and sisters, in that last stretch of the year, because today we start the last month, and in these last days of the liturgical year, the next Sunday we're gonna start the Advent, Jesus remind us that we must live showing him through our work how much we love him. We must live striving to show him to him that we are ready to correspond to his great love, that great love that he has for us, that great love who leads him to give himself to death, to remain in the Eucharist out of love for you and to show you the way of eternal life. Every day we can come closer to Jesus or we can move away from him. From him. It's up to us because he always is waiting for us with that love, with his heart, who beats that heart that beats love to every one of us. Let us pray one moment in silence. Brethren, let us lift to the Lord our supplication. For the fortitude of Christ's church, that she may stand fast through political upheavals and the rise and fall of kingdoms, knowing that in the end her Lord will triumph forever, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that world leaders may realize they have been given power only for a time and a season 
and use it wisely to promote justice and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, the Son of Man, who will come on the clouds of heaven to receive from his Father an everlasting kingdom, may find us eager and ready for his coming as loyal disciples and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are in need of our loving intercession, especially the sick and the poor, the imprisoned and the grieving, that this holy sacrifice may bring them relief and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our beloved dead, that they may soon be purified to take their place before the Ancient One on his throne of glory, welcomed by Jesus as the fruit of his victory over sin and death. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, we are praying. We pray for the unity of the church around Jesus Christ, its only shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray that Jesus, with his grace, help us that we may correspond to his love, that love that he manifests to us. Let us pray to the Lord. For our parish community and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. God of mercy, in your abundant love, you gave us your son. Set our heart on fire with the love of Jesus and hear our prayers through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, 
grant we pray that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, you gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church sacrament, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy.
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Ripsung et cumisung hep te hene hepsung, est video patri omnipotenti, in unitate spiritu sancti, an mi sonore gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, Vitoris Peccata Mundi, Miserere Nobis. Agnus Dei, Vitoris Peccata Mundi, Miserere Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that you should enter the marrow, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thus says the Lord, let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. 
streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Made partakers in your sacraments of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our lives, our sweetness, and our truth. To thee do we cry for vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy to us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy warm Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Queen of